we are in a little bit in a strange situation. It's like being uh, in uh, after the Copernican revolution and uh, most of people thinking still that the Earth is the center of the universe. Uh, we're a little bit like that because in the uh, 20th century uh, there have been relativity, general relativity, quantum mechanics, there have been uh, uh, quantum field theory and the, the picture of the world has changed dramatically and somehow it, it will happen but it has not yet happened um, that the, the, this knowledge has percolated to people. So I wanted to tell uh, people about this in a way um, which is simple and in a way which, is, um, uh, which emphasizes uh, the fascination of all this. I am a theoretical physicist, uh, I'm Italian, uh, I was born in Italy, I've been living in the States, uh, in France, in Italy. It's a collection of uh, seven lectures. It covers uh, um, modern uh, uh, physics, it's written for people who know nothing about m modern science, essentially. What is heat, what is space, what is time, and uh, especially, I guess, how many mysteries are still there. It focuses more on the, the large amount of things we don't know, rather than what we know. We instinctively have an idea of what is space, what is time, what is the sky, what is the earth, how are things made. Uh, and then, the more we study it, the more we discover that things are different. That space bends, that time in some sense, does, that I explain in the book, does not exist. Uh, um, we discover uh, aspects of realities which are extraordinarily far away from our daily experience. And uh, this is like an adventure. It's like uh, living for a great uh, trip and uh, finding ourselves in, uh, in places which are absolutely were impossible to, to dream, even dream before. Quantum mechanics describe a world uh, which is so deeply different from our experience, but nevertheless it's, uh, it's real, in a sense it's more real than our experience. Our experience is like uh, a foggy view of reality because it's imprecise, it doesn't take into account things, and uh, to some extent physics is like taking away screens and seeing better, so what it's like, you know, walking over the hill and seeing what's beyond the hill.